Just one point, Richard. You said the hex's liquidity is tied to the dollar. What do you mean by that? Yes. Well, if you when you go total up all the order books for a speculative instrument, you can see what the numeraire, the denomination of those order books is. So in cryptocurrency, such as Ethereum, the majority of the liquidity for Ethereum is Bitcoin. And the majority of liquidity for Bitcoin is the dollar. And so when Bitcoin moves down versus the dollar, Ethereum moves down versus the dollar. And all the altcoins tied to Ethereum move down versus the dollar. And when Bitcoin goes up versus the dollar, Ethereum goes up a little bit more because there's less liquidity. So it acts like a leverage position. And then the altcoins go up even more because they're even less liquid. And so what you have is a movement like this. Bitcoin goes up, Ethereum goes up more, alts go up more. And then when the market peak comes, when you fall out of your parabola, Bitcoin goes down, Ethereum runs for 27 days, and then it goes down more, and then the alts go down more until you finally reach capitulation at the bottom. This is how a reflexive system works. You're not going to find these ideas anywhere else. So it's a good oh, thing we're talking. How does that, but how does that, how, sorry, how, how does that relate to hex being tied to the dollar? Well, we're not, I'm we don't have that cascade of liquidity. So right. Bitcoin pulls Ethereum, we don't care. Only 15% of liquidity in hex is tied to okay. Ethereum. 85% is tied to stable coins that are, are tied to the dollar. So when the hex price moves up, it's because people it's tied buying to stable hex. coins. Okay. Right. But how yes. does it, if it's tied to stable coins, how is it able to have a 2,700, 27,000, or sorry, 2,700% return? 